Hello, Floss Tube. We're the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. And this is Ronnie. And Cash is over here. And she's sick. <laughs> I've got my mask when I'm not on. It, it's gone through the whole house. And we're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. <laughs> and complain about being sick. And, and we have a lot of exciting things to talk about. Woohoo! So I uh, absolutely adored reading all of your comments about where you shove <laughs> stuff, like the dishwasher or you. The oven. The, the shower. <laughs> You close your door and lock it so nobody can go in because these are all things that I've done as well. Like everything just gets piled in to somewhere. Oh, but you made fun of me putting my cross stitch stuff in the bathroom. For a home tour. I thought it was very funny. <laughs> um, but yes, very funny. I loved reading them. But we had some questions. Um, and we have our shirts on again. Yes. And so and many we of love you. seeing the selfies. And I saw yes. LaDonna Snellbaker did her floss tube video with hers on. Oh, I didn't see that yet. And she's coming to Minnesota, so we'll meet her in a couple of weeks. And yeah, so exciting. some people had a question about the retreat we were talking about last week. So last week we were talking about Minnesota's uh, Midwest Cross Stitchers Retreat. It's put on by a floss tuber uh, farm girl stitcher, Michelle Rudy, and uh, she hosts them uh, twice year, a year. Twice a year. And there are no more open spots to get into um, learn more information about her retreats. You need to join her on Facebook. That's the only place that she accepts um, requests and things like that for the retreat. So it's Midwest Cross Stitchers group I think that's it. on yeah. Facebook. Okay, so there is but another yes, but we have more two retreats, both in the same, like they're four days each. Yep. In Arkansas. <laughs> And you have to join the Leela, L-E-L-A-M-A-E, -E May Designs Facebook group. Mm -hmm. And the information will come out on Monday. And you at have noon. to... Central Standard Time. Monday at noon, Central Standard Time. Um, and they're going to be taking 30 um, retreat attendees per retreat. So there's going the to be... The 9th through the 12th and September 12th through the 15th. And that's for this year. So there's two retreats. They're kind of back to back. We're going to be at both of them teaching mm -hmm. uh, two classes per session. We're going to be there kind of in the middle of the week. Um, so again, it's going to be this year, September 9th through the 12th is the first session. And it's, it's a Halloween themed retreat. September 12th through the 15th for the second session. Um, and <laughs> these, uh, it's, so I just, it's in, um, Arkansas. It's at Mather Lodge on Petite Green Mountain near Moralton. It just I have looks notes. amazing. It looks absolutely phenomenal. So we talked to them last week and finalized everything and we're very excited to go. And then I talked to Kathy and I got us a, a design that's their... The, like a pre-release. Right. So we're just we're excited. excited. Yeah. Okay. But we have more exciting things coming. But next, again... Next yeah. Saturday you have to watch because the, the, it's really exciting. Um, but again, join their Facebook group and that's where all the information is going and to be posted Monday. on Monday, mm -hmm. Central Standard Time. So Monday is the date of April 15th, tax day. Yay. Okay. Okay. Um, so that's what I have of that. And it is Halloween themed. So they've got a bunch of different things, uh, like contests and things like that. So really awesome. Okay. Back to questions. Uh, see, and and the, the, the retreat includes your lodging and your food meals, drink. yes, two meals a day, two meals one a day. Brec breakfast and dinner, lunch is not included. But they have like coffee, tea, all of that good stuff. All right, um, Chris wanted to know, is there information on Stitch Mania? So Stitch Mania is not something that we started. It is also a Facebook group. So mm -hmm. if you don't have Facebook, you can jump on Facebook. You don't have to friend people. You can just join these groups to kind of participate if mm -hmm. you want to. Um, but Stitch Mania, M-A-Y-N-I-A, -A, and that's where you can see more information about it. Again, it's just people posting their kind of projects or their thought process behind what they're going to be doing. And then throughout the rest of the year, they're posting their stitching as well. <laughs> Sandy, he was sick too, so he's getting over it a little bit now, but he's still really good. <laughs> Sandy wanted to know, how do you keep your floss organized? Mom uses uh, binder rings that I've put in the Amazon shop. So you can see that they're really inexpensive and you just slide the uh, fancy floss on. We did show that in one video too. Yeah. And we showed oh, the Lord. box that I keep my floss in. It's, they're just... I like 12 inch, five to maybe four inch. Aren't they like shoe containers that are plastic? Yeah. You can get some at the dollar store, I think. Right? Can't you? I think so. Um, but they're just small containers, so the floss lays flat. Yeah. Any, any place. Yeah. 
Um, all right. But I want it laid flat, my floss, my fancy floss. She used my to DMC, bobinate. Right. My DMC's bobinated. It but is. we started to try to do floss away bags. Yes, floss away bags are great as well if you don't want to just lay your floss out and you want to have uh, be able to put like the extra tidbits that you don't want to wrap around. Mm -hmm. You can just put them in the floss away bags. Uh, Donna wanted to know what kind of magnets do you use and where do you get them? Either at Home Depot or Hobby Lobby. Both of them have decent magnets and they are about the size of a nickel or a quarter and they're, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch thick or a quarter inch. I'm not sure. Yeah, they're in the hardware section. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Denise, can you tell us more about your tree? Okay, so this we already covered that, Denise. So um, previous talks yes uh on, yes so go join leela may designs so you yes. can get a spot on the writ diet it says to add dish soap do you do that no but i did add salt okay what i read on mine said to use salt okay did i use dish soap to wash some of it out or was that the tea coffee that we did after no no i don't remember now i did dye some more fabric this week and it turned out really good mm-hmm Diana would love to see how you feel. Oh, we already talked about that too. Uh, Nancy, how do you, I didn't reread these questions this week. I was tired. Uh, Nancy, how do you get so many projects finished? And can you recommend a beginner's punch needle kit? I think any of the ones by Little House Needleworks are really good because they're bigger areas. When, when you I, get into small details. Right. When, it when I harder. did that threads that bind one, that one, because you had to do like eyes for ghosts. So. I had to do French knots after because I couldn't figure out how to get them to where it looked right. They just kind of look like blobs <laughs> instead of eyes. But the Little House Needleworks ones, the, the design is big enough, that, but they're not a big design. The areas that you have to punch are bigger, so it's easier. Yeah. I would definitely do one of those. Uh, Laura loves seeing Cash growing up. Uh, will you be putting his first birthday on the channel? So. I would assume we would do like tidbits or pictures, absolutely. It's going to be a big family get together, obviously, because it's 4th of July as well, and we usually get together. So, I mean, it's gonna be a patriotic theme. I just haven't thought more of along the lines of what it is then. Oh gosh. Um, Kim, where do you find the Rit dye? We used to have it in our grocery store, but no longer. I yeah. found some last night at Walmart. It's in the laundry section. I've bought it at Hobby Lobby. Have I bought it at Joint Fabrics? Maybe. Okay. At Walmart, though, it's cheap. It's like two fifty a bottle. At Hobby Lobby, I think it was like five bucks. Markup. You can use your forty percent coupon, though. <laughs> yeah, but I'm usually using that. <laughs> Andrea, where did you find that moss bunny? There was a moss bunny on top of your finish last week, I think. It right. might have been Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I okay. don't remember. Kim, did you, so she was talking about um, having a lot of kids as well. Did you ever leave one of us behind somewhere? Like, did you ever forget one of us? No, but my husband did. They Wait, were... yeah, they came all the way back with the neighbor, right? Well, they, right? Yes. So <laughs> yes. they went to buy fireworks and they left one of the neighbor kids and one of the sons at home and they got out of the car at the firework place and nobody else got out and they were like, where are they? They were back here and that was before everybody had cell phones. But he was like a half an hour away, and the the <laughs> other neighbor didn't bring him either. So, well, at least they were home. I mean, they probably did that on purpose. Let's be honest. Um, we have a funny fireworks story too. So we <laughs> set off a lot of fireworks, and yeah, it's illegal. We get it. But um, the cops showed up one time, and Hunter, the police. The, oh, the police. Sorry, um, police showed. Live PD showed up, and. <laughs> Hunter got so scared he went and hid in the trash can, like the big trash can. Like he wouldn't get in trouble. He was like old three. Yeah, he was so... <laughs> Great parenting. Anyways, uh, Colleen was the to... other time though. We were at the neighbors and they were shooting him off over the lake, and the police also showed up. And my husband said, "But we haven't done the grand finale." And the policeman said, "Go ahead and do the grand finale, and I'm going to take you to jail." Yeah, we didn't have a grand we finale. Didn't, no, we didn't. <laughs> Uh, Colleen, any ideas for an easy cross stitch chart to start? I haven't done it before, and should I do in hoop or should I start in hand? Go for in hand, girl. Yes, I would go for in hand. Because then it's less things to purchase on the accessory wise and more charts, floss, fabric, etc. But if you can't do it, snap on a hoop and 
try it that way. Um, I recommend starting with a little project. Don't go and get a full blown stocking or mm -hmm. a full blown. But like, some some people do start with the full blown thing and they they are great. They at sell it. at it, yes. But I'm talking like from personal experience. I wanted something small that I could feel accomplished and get to know the craft that way. Because if I mess up on some huge, like I'm never gonna go back to it. I don't think so. If you have something little that's mm -hmm. easy to start with. Uh, little house, uh, little house needleworks, country cottage needleworks. One of their like small ornaments yeah. or hands on design, hands on design, yeah, heart and hand, all of those, and Lizzie Kate, all the the yes. things that we stitch are easy. We're beginner cross stitchers <laughs> <laughs> on the chart front. All right, that's all the questions I have for this week. Thank you. So for previous finishes, what do you got? I forget who this is by. It's not Paris Gore. No, um, Lizzie Kate. It's like, it might be the trilogy, which is Bent Creek, Heart and Hand, and somebody else, I think. Okay. But I'm not 100% positive. But it's so cute, and I just put it in a thrift store frame that I wrapped the gingham around the back of the piece of the frame, and then mounted the stitching on sticky board and stuck it on top and added a bow. Frame was chalk painted. It's mm -hmm. a $1.99 frame. It was gold that she got at... Um... Goodwill. Yeah, Goodwill. A lot of the gold frames, if you find those, you can slap white paint on it and mm -hmm. then uh, like black. sand some of it off and it looks kind of rustic-y mm -hmm. when you see those edges. And I added some lace trim on the bottom and a covered button. And then I can't remember if I showed this one with a spring piece on it yet, but this is with thy needle and thread basketball full of spring. And the bow is on a magnet because I've done the rest of the series and this there's also a magnet on this piece so that they just go back and forth so i can add the other ones and i think i got oh it's got a sign on it where did i get that it's ashlyn so it's uh michael michael's uh 1999 so frame 50 percent off when she purchased it okay all right and finishes um i, I only have one completion okay temporary interruption he's yelling <laughs> he's out of his lungs Okay, All right, so hands on design. This is House on a Hill, the Summer Night. And I, I'm I'm not one that does like pin cushions and things like that, but I loved that it was daisies and the little blue house. So I stitched it, I left off the felt on the bottom, and I just like moved it up so that it wasn't so much green. There still is a lot of green. I would ideally like to find some little tiny daisy buttons or trim that I could put down on the bottom in the grass. But for right now, I don't have any. So I just um, mounted on sticky board. I added a, a, a torn piece of ruffled red check, buffalo check. I added a aqua and red check bow, and then a daisy in the middle. And then I had one of those little chicken pin minis. Mm -hmm. So I stuck that up there. This, this is, is the so brown eggs farm. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Adorable. And this is like a six inch maybe mm -hmm. little uh wreath grapevine wreath i went down the basement to finish it this morning and nothing looked right and then i thought oh my gosh i have that one wreath upstairs and like you could lay this in on top of a olive bucket or you can stand it up or you can hang it up whatever you want to do with a little tiny wreath yep so right. look for those at thrift shops etc uh, or, or on sale or craft shop yeah. Well, yeah all right show your rips no i have a finish oh that's right Mom finished this, so we had questions about it last week. So this is the threads that Be bind. careful with this, because I think I need to add more magnets. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so it's kind of heavy. This is the threads that bind, and this is on a... Um, enamel. And, sorry, yeah, enamel sign. Sign from... Michaels. Michaels. So I mounted the stitching on sticky board. I added a torn piece of gingham that I knotted around it. You can see that that's the black and white check. Then I added two different ruffles, a bow that I use pipe cleaners because then she can take this off and use it for other holidays if she wants. And I added two different ribbons and a covered button. So cute. And I use DMC on this. Some people were asking for the you DMC. You can see how thick it is. It's got a lot of layers, but I think it's, I don't remember what colors. It's I used, perfect. To be the purple was like a 100 something number. Mm -hmm. It was hard to find because I didn't keep track of what I was using. Yes. But I didn't uh I didn't put the magnets on the enamel pan. I put them on the back of this. So I glued one magnet, then I added a washer, then I added another magnet to make it high enough to stick on here, but I think I need to do it one more time. 
absolutely love it though. Perfect for Halloween. And I have um, one of those galvanized like shelf things in my kitchen that you finished, um, my mom finished Farmer's Daughter for me on it. What did you use that for? Your truck on the farm? Yeah. For truck on the farm. Um, but there's a little peg there that I plan to hang that on. Okay. Um, and then do you have any? No, you're going to show your whips. I'm going to show my whips. So I had a secret whip that I can't show, but I showed mom that I was stitching on this and it's like four yards of fabric that I have just <laughs> wadded up. <laughs> it's like a quilt when I go to, cause I've been stitching this in my car. I am just She's going to be the last one to have the retreat piece done. <laughs> Taking my time, making everybody else feel good. Um, last night I worked on spiders. This is a flip series by, uh, Lizzie Kate. This, which one is this? Not Boo Club. What what is this called? Uh, yeah, it is. Oh, this is Boo Club. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, I thought the other one. Was or is Boo it Club. Halloween Rules? No, that's Boo Club. This is Boo oh yeah, Stitch the Boo Club series. Duh. I I need to stitch that one. It's so right. awesome. Spiders. The fabric looks good. Too. Yep. So you can see that this fabric was left in the oven to get crispy but it's perfect for a Halloween piece because it's got those like severe marks on it which I think makes it look more spooky okay um and then I worked on Little House Needleworks this is a summer band sampler this is charted all in DMC and I'm using the charted four colors did you start that no that was the last year mania piece that I only got the top border done so I started on this while watching Shark Tank I finished my summer whirly gig and then I started it again. So two of those. Okay. That's my whip for this week. What okay. do you have? Ooh, boss. Calvin's favorite color. So remember I decided I wasn't going to do the birds of a feather and I was going to do some on this. So this is for her stars and stripes Saturday. Mm -hmm. So I did a little bit more of the red, but I think that this one will go pretty quick because there's lots of big areas. I so many of you have gotten uh, <laughs> your kits to stitch along with us. We are super excited to hear about that as well. Oh my goodness. I know. Isn't it cute? It's so little though. It took me so long. I started this two years ago for mania. Oh, the cute on the And animal. like I've said before, I remember being in San Diego for my son's graduation and starting this. So I'll always remember that. Did we did we distinguish that this is not three inches right here? Two and a half, three inches. I just... Um, it's barely a half an inch. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a Teresa Colgate Halloween greetings. All right, can I see that a second? I want to tell them. So I had all this border to do and a little bit of the branch. And what I did was I did the outside of the border and then the inside and then I filled it in and it went really, really quick. I don't mind stitching like one color in a big chunk like that at all. As long as you have it outlined and you can just fill mm -hmm. in. Yep. So I got to figure out a really cute way to finish this, but that'll happen. And then I let Calvin pick out the next... Halloween piece and this will be bobbing for pumpkins and this was one of my mania starts. Look how toasty this fabric is. Ooh, This will be one of my mania starts for this year. The back's even worse than the front. And worse, it's good. You remember that Chelsea stitched this and I finished it for her with the sign that we had bought at Michael's mm -hmm. and I'm going to do exactly the I same. I feel like that was the first sign, right? No, the first one was when I did those Ju Judith Kirby houses. Oh yeah. Okay, so wait, you started this early? No, I started at Mania last year. Oh, I thought you said this will be one of your <laughs> Mania I, starts. I haven't worked. No, I'm not starting early. I haven't yes. worked on it at all. Did I show it up close? Okay, so then for Merry Monday, Santa Sunday, the, and the Bobbing for Pumpkins will be my new Witchy Wednesday piece. So as you can see, I'm not doing it all in one piece. There's going to be several pieces. And I know exactly how and I'm finishing it. And the crowd goes wild. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not of, telling you. Country Cottage <laughs> Needleworks, Glitter Village. I'm doing one of these a month, and this was my fourth. April. Yep, April is the fourth month. So this yep, so there's nine done month. already. Yep, I finished it. Merry Monday, Santa Sunday. These go really quick. They're not that big. 
Okay, so then now this Santa Sunday, Mary Monday will be the Jack Frost tree farm. I already finished the first one. This is uh, part two called Douglas Fir. Absolutely love that little wagon. So it'll be decided, I guess, whether it'll be all one piece or if I'm doing separate. But this was the first part and there's a second part. Oh, you would go down? If yeah, you, you, go do. you go down. There's like three underneath each one. Okay, I understand. But it's really cute and I can't wait to stitch it. You were a machine this week. Then I did the truck from Queen Bee Flower Farm and there's Ronnie. And this is a special piece. You won't see it finished for a while, but this is gonna go on a couple trips. So stay tuned. This is Hands On Design and Mom's Collaboration. If you are Queen new to Bee Flower Farm. Yep, if you're new to our channel, Mom draws things on chalkboards and uh, sends them over to Kathy. Kathy converts it to a cross stitch file, makes it beautiful, and here we go. And, and then, I've seen two of the new farmhouse chalk pieces and Oh my God, be ready to be amazed. They're just. <laughs> I haven't seen them. You have to. Okay. I was trying to be like on their side, like, oh, I'm going to be surprised with you guys. Because I'm just in doubt. I don't know what the heck she's doing with Glitter Village. So don't worry. She doesn't tell me either. <laughs> this is uh, Quilter's Cottage Cross Stitch. <laughs> anyway, this I stitch on on Wednesday mornings along with Fat Quarter Shop when they do their live floss tube. And they did it this week from Kimberly was in Las Vegas and she had our shirt on. Should we say so, hi to Gabriel? Hi, Gabriel. <laughs> Sorry. So, she was so I know, embarrassed. it's not Gabriel. It's Gabriel. <laughs> and Kimberly had to point that out. She was so you. mortified. She was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, I tried to tell you. <laughs> okay, but this is Quilter's Cottage. I think she set me up. <laughs> By reading the name, she uh, is changing some of the colors uh, to suit her stitching. And Gabriel is also a member of our Stitching, stitching. with the Housewives group, so yes. we love seeing him on there. Yeah, he was stitching the mustache skeleton. Okay, yeah. uh, so you're on the next tree. Is that where you're on? Yes, I finished this side of the house and did the like smokes in the chimney, and I um, did the bushes, and I just have to finish filling in the tree. I would have had more done, except for I had to pull out something <coughs> because I had it like one stitch off, but oh. it's cute. I love the colors and hopefully it'll be done soon so I can display it when I take down my spring stuff because I'm ready to. You're ready for, we still got snow coming. It's miserable. We had snow two days ago. Was it two days ago? But we, we get to like almost 70 degrees and then it snows. Yeah, the next day it snowed. <laughs> but hail, everybody has rain. the same weather, so. I know. I just wanted to plant my garden. Like I just want to put my garden stuff out. And my last whip I worked on this morning and I got the whole side done with the tea and biscuits. So this is my punch needle. And this is from Little House Needleworks. I think it's called a bee garden. I forgot to bring the chart in here again. So. But again, you punch on the back don't of show it. show them the back. <laughs> and then the, the, oh my God. <laughs> and then the um, design that you would see is on mm -hmm. the the inside and i'm not doing the bottom there's like pennies. pennies on the bottom i'm not doing those and i didn't do the the two letters next to it i'm just doing yeah, the flowers have an a and a c here. the b's and the b scap and i'm out of stepping stones so i gotta get this for the bottom but i think um tuesday i'll be making a run to our local lns for floss for the new and that's just so i think i have a dentist appointment i don't know okay Can't wait all right, perfect. So what else? Can I go to this stuff now? Sure. We had a ton of gifts this week, so thank you. Um, Mom would call me and say, oh my goodness. Start with this one because we forgot last week. Yeah, Corey, sorry. Uh, Our table was like horrible last week. And then when we were cleaning it up, I was like, oh my God, we forgot. Corey, thank you so much. Right, and we know that Corey has followed us from the beginning and we see her all over the Facebook and whatnot. So yeah, thank you. Yeah, she said you. she was so sick sorry. yesterday, so we hope you're feeling better. Oh. Ooh. But she sent us a bunch of charts. Mm -hmm. I love this one. And some will be giveaways. She said she found this at a um, like a thrift shop for a dollar. And it's a Threads That Bind. And if you know Threads That Bind, it um, has the the fabric in it. Mm -hmm. um, and then a bunch of Lizzie Kate's. Yes, and there's one boot club in there, so I only need to buy five more. <laughs> oh, boot club right here. <laughs> now that we know that it is a boot club. <laughs> My brain is not with it today. All right. 
Thank you, Corey. We are very sorry. Yes. I think we sent your thank you note out, though. So we're at least she we're sent caught us up on a that. very nice card. I showed the card. I oh, didn't okay. show the inside. Yep. But it's she was saying cute. thank you to us. So mm -hmm. thank you, Corey. Thank you. Yes. Um. All right. And then from Denise, from she's uh, dot dot goose design on Etsy. Etsy. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Little runs. Um, so this is called Hang with Ronnie um, on her Etsy. And then it's got the pool colors. Super cute. Then this project bag. This is called, I think it's Duck Dip. Old McDonald had a farm. Sorry. Old McDonald. And she made. So hop on over there. We'll link it below. She made cash some crib sheets. Isn't it awesome? Amazing. Josh is like, will that fit a queen size? <laughs> Cash is still in my bedroom. <laughs> Not in my bed. He's in the playpen. Just, yeah. If my mother could have it, she'd be. Just shut the door. It's no. fine. <laughs> Who's teething it up every night? So it's either me running down the hallway at 2 a.m. <laughs> him coughing. Yeah. Mom, we're just diseased. All of us. Okay. So thank you so much, Denise. We will link her shop below. Uh, she sells project bags. Yes. That right. goes design. That got goose designs. And then I'm going to probably butcher this last name, and I am terribly sorry. So Justine, I think it's Hogan, sent us this adorable card. And she's, uh, she has, I think she has an Etsy. Is and she it? lives on a farm, I think. Yeah, Hogan Farms Candle mm -hmm. Company. Let's see. And she is also on Etsy. Yeah, we're going to link her below. So she made us these beautiful candles. Mm-hmm. That she makes them in her kitchen. Um, and then she sent us these. I had to open it. Look at this um, label, though. Amazing. And inside it has uh, like the wax melts. Mm -hmm. Thank you so really much. Yeah, yes, I can't smell them, but mom said they smell delicious. What's the name of her Etsy shop? I put it on the paper. Oh my goodness. Haugen Farms or something. Hogan Farms? We're going to link it below. I wrote it on a piece of paper. What, what's that? Is it on my card? No. We will link it below. Don't worry. We're gonna I think it's it Haugen Farms. Thank you so much. They're really pretty. Thank you. And yes, they will fit in perfectly with our decor. She put that in the card. Okay. Is it on the back? No. Maybe you didn't do it. Yes, I did. <laughs> All right, and then this is a bark box. I think that this was sent for Ronnie, but there was no name. It's a bark box. So, uh, but I asked her. So, <laughs> if you sent the, her the bark box, let us know so we so can we thank, can thank you. you. I don't. If you guys don't know what bark box is, it's a subscription service for your dog where you get a box every month of goodies um but my stepdad has like inadvertently uh, like subscribed to like people magazine lately and like <laughs> men's fitness <laughs> magazine so i'm like are you sure you didn't just subscribe to this <laughs> just inadvertently but they have pup soda can this is what is it they're toys oh toys and there's treats treats look at this more treats so please let us know so we can get you a thank you and properly, well, properly thank you. I've looked through the box like five times. There was nothing in the box. She had to, oh my, oh my goodness. Is this, oh, Sandy. Okay, this is from Sandy. <laughs> Sandy! You have no idea how happy you just made me. Thank you, Sandy. We <laughs> have the jackpot. She sent a cute Found card. Found the paper. Um, Hogan Farms Candles on Etsy. If that's how we say your last name. If I'm butchering it, I apologize. But we're going to link it below. So you can find her candles and her name. I think it might be Hagen. H-O-U-G-E-N. You also thought Gabriel was Gabrielle, so we're not going to go into your pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> all right and then so usually i get here early so i can look through everything but today i was running short that's why i'm kind of like <laughs> scatterbrain this is from created to create bh and she's on she's got a floss tube she's got instagram and her etsy shop 
is created to create BH. So we'll link her below. Betty Heck. And then she sent us this wonderful letter. Yes, wonderful letter. Oh my goodness. Oh my golly. So she sent us four project bags, which two of them are going to be giveaways today. And these project bags that she makes, the all the proceeds go to a charity for autism. Oh, wonderful. And she makes beautiful bags. These fabrics are yes, gorgeous. they're pretty. And then there's charts in them. Mm -hmm. So these two right here are going to be in with the giveaway. These two? Mm -hmm. okay. Plus there's other things. Okay. I got to get to it. She sent us, this is, um, she sent wow. us a lot of jelly rolls. She Fabric. orders a lot from the Fat Quarter Shop and she thought that we would like them. Oh, I know. The, the, like everyone that I took out was prettier than the last. So, oh my goodness, oh my goodness Betty, thank you so much. Journals? Yep. Amazing journals. I think she does a lot of paper crafting too, but there's a lot of really cute details in these. Come back up. So this is from that, um, this is what this is from. It looks like this uh, pattern is from uh, Farmhouse 2. It's a Moda fabric. Beautiful. So pretty. And I love that she's already like kitted up our quilt so we don't need to add anything. She put the white in there so all we have to do is cut it and sew it. Oh yeah, that's all we have to do. <laughs> Can I help you? Another one. Beautiful. Oh, and more of this farmhouse. Oh God, oh, look at that. Beautiful. So these are, are absolutely perfect for us and we can't even thank you enough. It, it was like Christmas opening the box. I didn't open mine yet. She left me open mine. Yes, that's the, for the other journal. Yes. These are amazing too. I'm not sure if these are in her Etsy shop also. Oh, she does all the paper crafting on it? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes, they're very pretty. Amazing. And such a pretty color and the, it's got a little tag on it. I had aspirations to do that at once when I got into paper crafting. Looks so nice to see how it went. Okay, we got everything put away. Um, so we've got, um, where are we at? We'll announced the winner for the giveaway last week. Okay, so the giveaway last week was the awesome Stitch Journal. We added this to our Amazon shop too, so you can find a quick way to get to it. Um, it's the Stitch Mania 2019 um, Stitch Journal, as well as the two mini charm packs and the uh, dish towel from Blue, Blue Q. Q. And that says the best restaurant in town. So the winner for that is Megan Rhodes. Congratulations, Megan, if you can get a hold of us. So in the description box below, you'll have a link to our email. Email us your physical address and we'll be able to get that back to you. You have a week to claim your winning. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and then this week's giveaway. So um, we are fortunate enough to obviously have these beautiful bags from Betty. Again, we will link her Etsy shop below. So we're going to have two giveaways today because we have two bags. And we also have two Stitching with the Housewife shirts to give away. So uh, <laughs> the black bag, so this bag from Betty is going with to come. With a in it. Yeah, with the Stitching Bird chart, it's going to come with a uh, piece of fabric that's 18 by 25. It's um, Witchelt Lamb's Wool. This is from Fat Quarter Shop. Thank you they so much. They have a new uh, fabric of the month where you get uh, one piece of fabric every month. You sign up for the year. And they are doing Ada and also Evenweave. Evenweave as well. And, or um, linen. I'm not sure. Is it linen? I don't know. It's 28 count. 28 count. Maybe linen. Um, and then a large Stitching with the Housewife shirt. So, so that comes with the black bag. That's so. one giveaway. And then the second giveaway is going to be the pink bag with the Summer Whirly Gig chart in it from Betty. Uh, another piece of the Lamb's Wool Ada. And that is, um, it's 14 count, sorry. And this one is going to come with an extra large oh. shirt. 
Okay, so the question that you are going to answer since we had some uh, hinting around it today, well, we didn't hint to what you're gonna answer, but <laughs> mom started talking about it. Um, what kind of farm do you think the next farmhouse chalk is? Mm -hmm. We get our words mixed up like chalk, chalk farm chalk. <laughs> it's farmhouse chalk. And what do you think the next farm the is going to be? The first one was the carrots and cottontails farm. Mm -hmm. And we're enjoying seeing all those still being stitched. Oh Absolutely my goodness. Absolutely love it. Yes. So beautiful and on different colors too. Yes. Love seeing it. So don't limit yourself to just the black fabric that it is um, showed on. You can stitch it on different colors and it is still just as beautiful because a lot of people are intimidated, even if they're, especially if they're first time stitches to stitch on black. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that you can do though is use a light box or a light or a white uh, piece, uh, a towel on your lap. Uh, a lot of people have used that to see the whole thing. I, I don't have to do any of that and I wear jeans all the time. My jeans are dark. So. I'm just saying tips that but people have. But I do use used. my light. And I went up, like, my normal reading glasses are a 2.50, and for stitching on the black, I use a 3.00, and I got those at Amazon. Okay. So that's the question that you're going to answer there. Um, don't say giveaway. Don't say free. Just put the comments And you below. have a week from today to let us know if yep. you're the winner. And um, so the comments have to be listed on our YouTube. So the generator only picks from uh, the YouTube comments, yes. not Facebook, not emailing to us. So you have to leave a comment below. So you scroll past the suggested videos that you're going to see and you're going to leave a comment right there. Sometimes you have to be uh, signed in to be able to leave mm -hmm. a comment. So you'll just need to sign up for YouTube. It doesn't cost you anything. You're not like subscribing to anything. You're just being able to leave a comment. and you need to be a subscriber to our channel yep. and like the video and then leave your comment and so what we want you to do is say what you think the next chalk on the farm is going to be and then large or extra large yep that's what how we'll determine what um yes. giveaway is so the large again is going to be the black bag and then the extra large is with the pink bag mm -hmm. okay so some housekeeping things i just want to recap because we had some important announcements for this video so there is a new uh retreat that's coming up september 9th through the 12th and a second session september 12th through the 15th you have to go to their facebook group Leela May, so L-E-L-A, uh, M-A-E, Designs Facebook, and they're going to announce the information on Monday. In just a couple days. April 15th uh, at, was it 12? Yes, that's what you said. Central time. Uh, you are still able to get Stitching with the Housewife shirts on fatquartershop.com. We have the link below. Uh, we love seeing your selfies, love seeing you wear them. Thank you so much for supporting us. We appreciate it, and we love wearing them. Mm -hmm. They are um, about true to size. So everybody that I've seen post says they're about true to size. They don't shrink much. Or just a little bit bigger than normal. Yeah. And they are uh, like three quarter length sleeves. So they're, uh, and very thin. So if you're worried about it being hot, the, these mm -hmm. are thin. Um, okay. And then we, next, okay. Land that I love, Stitch Along. That April 27th. starts April 27th. A lot of people are getting their charts now. Don't worry. People, um, shops and brick and mortars are still getting their patterns in. So don't worry. You have plenty of time to get it. And again, if you don't start it on April 27th, start it on May 3rd when you get, receive it or whatever the case may be. We're not yes, like, there's uh, no rules. hard and fast rules. Um, and then take as long as you need to stitch it on. Still stitching things like Lantern Lane. All right. Uh, the floss packs that... We showed last week, so the colors that Priscilla chose for the land that I love are available through fatquartershop.com. We have linked that below as well. And then, last but not least, we need you to stay tuned for next week because we have a very exciting announcement. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. But you'll only find out if you tune in next week. So all we my, just like to keep you hanging. All my mania is in here. Packed and, up, and there's going to go. be a separate video on both of our manias, and it's going to be really special. This is one of the stitching journal. Yes, from Humble Bumble. From Humble Bumble. Humble from Humble Bumble <laughs> Sally Ann, <laughs> um, which are absolutely beautiful. She does all the stitching and whatnot. Okay. Um, all right. So thank you to everyone who sent us something. And again, whoever sent the bark box, mm -hmm. let us know so we can properly thank you. Mm -hmm. um, we appreciate you hanging in with us today. He went to his nine month appointment. He's grinding his teeth really bad and he's got the biggest space between his front teeth. <laughs> My mom always teases me about him having a pacifier in his mouth because he's going to need braces. This kid's going to need more than braces because to pull those <laughs> two teeth together, it's going to need a miracle. Um, but anyways, <laughs> he's doing well. He's like 20 pounds, 12 and a half ounces, uh, two feet, five and a half inches tall. He's big. 
He's happy. Can you say mama? No. He calls me Bob. Um, so <laughs> me and Bob, um, we're all good. All right. Anyways, that's all I have. Do you have anything else? Nope. Follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine at Chelsea356, Priscilla's2000 on Facebook and Priscilla's2000.blogspot.com. And also join our Stitching with the House wives group on facebook yeah there's so much inspiration there that you could spend a week just looking at everything yeah people are like this is interrupting my stitching time yes. i'm trying to look at everybody's projects <laughs> and it's a positive place where you get nothing but encouragement and um mm -hmm. great things people are sharing videos of them dyeing their own fabric and things selfies of people in the stitching with the housewives group it's fabulous yes. we absolutely love it we absolutely and love you can that share you have any craft you don't, it's not just for cross stitch yep. it's for quilting, quilting knitting crocheting paper crafts whatever whatever you're doing show us absolutely and then if you get your inspiration from us for finishing tag us tag my blog we'd love to see your projects and i've been seeing tons of the carrots and cottontails and i love seeing it and it just makes me extremely happy and wait until you see the next one. Absolutely exciting. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we will see you next week. Bye.